Hello in today's video I will show you how to uh, draw pie chart and donut chart in react native's new architecture without any third party library so for this we will be making use of swift ui and this tutorial is only specific for ios because these two charts were all were introduced in ios 17 so you would require xcode 15 for this uh, and uh, i already have covered a lot of other charts in my previous videos so if you haven't watched that go check that out as well uh, so like bar chart line chart and uh, i think heat map or something a rectangular chart all this kind of stuff i have already covered using swift ui charts but this tutorial is only for a uh, donut chart and pie chart so first of all i will show you guys the output so firstly uh, this is the output for pie chart and for donut chart i will just comment my donor uh, uncomment this and comment my pie chart and run it again so by the time it is running i will uh, tell you guys about the setup so as usual create a react native project then enable the new architecture so to enable the new architecture for ios you will have to go to your terminal cd to your ios directory and then run this command once <coughs> once you run this command your new architecture will be enabled then uh, just go to your project uh, then create a folder called RT and my Swift UI view. I will be following the fabric documentation. So yeah, you can follow along with that. Next, I have created a package.json file. Uh, again, this has been copied from docs and only this name has been changed. Uh, this name has been changed and this has been changed. Next, I have created a pod spec file again copied from docs and only this name has been changed. Next, I have created a JS folder inside that. I have created this TypeScript file and again I have copied from docs and only uh, will we, we will be sending a data like we will be creating an array uh, like a JSON array we will be converting into a string and then sending it to native side and again we will be uh, you know uh, unwrapping that array to convert it in, uh, unwrapping that uh, string uh, to convert it into an array and then uh, we will display it on the uh, chart so that's why I have given this a string and uh, I have changed this name over here as well. Uh, so here you can see uh, the pie chart as well. Uh, sorry, the donut chart I mean. And if I click on this donut chart. Uh, so here you can see I have added this animation as well as and uh, just to tell the user what particular uh, chart has been selected. Okay. So yeah. Uh, next, uh, once you do that, you have to open your terminal. Uh, cd to the root of your react native project then run this command yarn add rtn my swift you once you do that you will have to do cd dot dot uh, and after that you will have to run this command but in this command make sure my project name is rn app that's why i've written rn app over here rn app and rn app but make sure you change your project name to whatever uh, is your project name followed by the folder name which we have created and once you are done with that you will have to do cd ios and then uh, run this command uh, so this will uh, enable uh, this will uh, do code generation for us uh, once you are done with that so here you can see i have just imported our library and uh, this is my rt and my swift view i have occupied the entire width and height and uh, while sending the data so this is how i am sending the data so you require an id then we require some users so i have given some users as well as some view count and i have given some color as well so you can so users and view count are for x and y axis so you require this so you can change it to whatever you have and i have also passing color as well so <clears throat> yeah next uh, open ios folder firstly make sure at least you are targeting ios 17 because I think uh, these charts are from iOS 17 as well, but you can check it. Uh, maybe from iOS 16, I don't think it might be supporting iOS 15. But anyways, uh, next I have created this header file. Uh, again, I have just copy pasted this from docs and only uh, this uh, name is changed. And yeah, only this name is changed. Next, I have created an objective C++ file. And again, I have imported our header file copied this from docs and only this name has been changed and this should be your bridging header name so to create the bridging header name create a swift file called my swift ui view export will ask do you want to create a bridging header just click yes and here you can see my bridging header name is rn app so whatever your bridging name header name is uh, put it that uh, so yeah followed by dash swift.h will be common to all uh, 
uh, next this has been copied from docs this has been copied from docs uh, this also has been copied from docs and only this name has been changed and over this name has been changed next uh, this has been copied from docs and only name has been changed over here i have created a ui view and this is uh, creating a uh, variable of our swift file uh, next again this has been copied from docs and only this name has been changed next uh, this as well and the only th important thing to notice is we are initializing our uh, ui view over here and we are initializing our swift file over here and for now i am just passing a title called hello uh, this title should be actually the array which we have created on the react native side but we are passing that as a prop so for the start we don't have anything so if you want you can keep it empty as well next i am adding our uh, swift ui view to our ui view next here we will get the updated props which we are sending it from react native side so here you can see uh, that i am assigning the title again uh, to whatever string has been passed and again this has been copied from docs and only this name has been changed next i have created a swift uh, manager class again make sure the extension is dot mm that is it is an objective c plus plus file and again this has been copied from docs only this name has been changed this has been changed this has been changed and here we are passing a uh, data property uh, from react native to uh, native side uh, next i have created my uh, swift ui view uh, so here we will uh, embed swift ui inside ui kit so first i have defined our array and once we get a data i am checking if the data is proper or not then i am uh, getting uh, the json data from our string then i am trying to decode it for view month i will tell you what exactly is view month then we will guess the post out of it like the array out of it and i am removing everything from list response as well as then appending everything which we have got in post to list response and this is the code for embedding swift ui inside your ui kit view so i have defined a swift ui view uh, then here I have applied NS layout constraints. I have added it as a child, added it as a subview, and we have also have to do vc dot did move to parent controller. Okay, and this is the initialization and required in it which we have to write. Uh, next, you have to create this Swift UI view file. Now here it is uh, the view month which I was talking about. So. Uh, make sure whatever you have defined id user view count and color is exactly the same as what you have defined over here id users view count and color otherwise uh, you might have to do some extra step of mapping uh, these values so uh, so that's why i have uh, defined the same name both on react native and native side as well as i have created this extension class because we are sending hex color from react native to uh, swift uh, that's why we need this extension class and here inside swift ui view uh, i have just i am just taking our view months from that my swift ui view file and displaying the appropriate chart so here i am displaying my donut view but if you want pie chart you can just uh, comment this and uncomment this out so if you go to my donut view <coughs> sorry it just takes a view month it just import charts as well as swift ui and it just take view months then I am also taking selected account as well as selected type and I have just created a method uh, defined a function to check which type was selected and here is our chart so I have defined a chart inside that I have defined a sector mark and in stock view dot count and inner radius as well as corner radius has been defined and angular insert has been defined next I have defined a foreground style as well and corner it is then the chart angle selection as well as the chart background so you can change it whatever you want uh, depending on uh, whether what type of wine was selected then i have defined some frame as well as some text as well and then defined a spacer and on change i am just adding uh, this kind of an animation similarly for my pie chart i have defined a chart again a sector mark it has an angle and an angular inset then i have defined some annotation a foreground style the frame and the chart plot style and applied some padding so yeah i think that should be it thank you for watching bye